Hi guys, I received a message from Mr. Jeff that says, Hey Duncan, can you make a video on how to connect FileZilla to your FTP? I'm having a bit of trouble with that. Thanks, Mr. Jeff. Okay, um, well, I'll show you uh, my FileZilla, and I'm just going to connect to my website. Now, you notice I have an R here, and it says reconnect to the last used server. So, this is a useful button if um, you connect to a server and then close a program. Go back into it and you've forgotten the details or something like that. You can just press this R button and it'll reconnect and it'll just do a quick connect for you. Um, now, we, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the site manager which is provided with FileZilla. I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to actually put my site into here. So um, I'm just going to say new site and it says give the site a name. So I'm going to say mob3 because that's my website. Now, my host, it always, well, usually starts with FTP dot. So mine's FT3 ftp.mob3.co.uk now you may want to um, look up your host um, you might need to get some FTP details my default port is 21 I'm not, oops, I'm not sure if that's the same for all FTPs but I'm just showing you how I log in on mine so it's ftp.mob3.co.uk and the port is 21 so server type is FTP log on type it says anonymous well I actually need to log on with a password so I'm just going to say normal my user is going to be mob3.co.uk. This is provided to me when I bought the host. So whatever user you have, and the password again provided to me by my host. So um, that's the host, the port, FTP. Changed it to normal. Inputted my username and password, and I'm just going to click connect, and you can see that it's now logging in, and there's all my files down here. So. Uh, that is one way to do it. You can just have it in there, and then the next time you want to connect, you can just click the drop down and say mob3, or you can click that R button. So if I was to disconnect, I can just click the R button, and as you can see, it will log in again. So I can break that connection, try it with this, and again, it's logging in. So that is pretty much how to do it. I hope that helps you, Mr. Jeff. Um, you can quick connect if you want to, or you can save it in the site manager, or you can just do a quick reconnect. Uh, from whichever site you've got. Um, very useful thing of files that you can do that in various different ways. And uh, that's about it really. So thanks for watching my video. I hope this helps you Mr. Jeff. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.